Good morning, blessed people. Good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and seeing our video today. Please hit like, subscribe, subscribe comment, share, and hit the bell to see when we post next. Good morning, blessed people. Good morning. How are you guys? Hopefully you guys are all fine, all blessed. Um, today is gonna be a really busy day. Today is gonna be one of those days that are like super tiring. Need to cut the grass. We need to feed the chickens, feed the dog. We need to work on the wood branches we need, we need. that we got to get it into wood chips and yeah. start laying it out on the land. Um, you probably see this clear plastic right here. We pretty much killed the weeds, killed the grass, so that once we put the wood chips on, it would be an easier process. Instead of tilling the soil and ruining all the matter that's inside, that is a better alternative. And anyways, it doesn't completely kill everything underneath. We still have so much growing because yeah. It's way stronger than what we can do. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be explaining later on what is the method that we use. We already explained we use wood chip. Um, we use the plastic to to pretty much kill the grass that is already there because we want to transform everything to obviously a food forest. So, so Right now we have some spinach from our house and we will be giving it to the chickens to feed on while we prepare their other food and everything else for this morning. <laughs> yeah, so we need to start working already. We need to cut all the grass. That's also the reason why we need to cover everything with wood chip. So we don't need to be a slave to like be cutting the grass all the time and all those things. So covering everything with wood chip will help. And now here, the grass and everything grows like crazy. People have to cut their lawn like twice a week. I'm like, this is insane. Can we just add cement and rocks everywhere? <laughs> yeah, so the reason is like here, it rains every day. Like today it was raining. I'm still cloudy a little bit and it's almost eight in the morning i don't know something like that so we're gonna talk to you guys later we're gonna do some video clips of the things that we're gonna be doing god bless everyone we love you thank you for watching
how I was processing this wood. And from just one basket, we were able to get all this amount of wood chip. That is amazing because, I mean, even that it looked that it's a lot, it's actually not even one eighth of all the wood chip that we actually need here. The reason why we put wood chip is to retain, always retain the moist in the, in the ground and also to prevent the weeds to grow and overtake our place. And also whenever we put it in this area where the grass is at, it should um, prevent the grass to, um, to keep growing. So pretty much we're just gonna cover the whole land, everything. We don't have a huge land, it's, it's a fourth of an acre. So it's not extremely big, but it's a big land I mean to cover everything with wood chip but we are excited and later on we're gonna explain more about wood chip and the method that we use and everything so talk to you guys later we love you finished covering this side of the fence and we still have maybe a fourth left to go. That's not including the other side of the back. This is just the front half. And so with that whole bucket filled of the gorilla cart, we were able to fill up quite a bit. And especially if you have a smaller space that you're just wanting to limit for the wood chip use, I would say it would be a decent amount that you get, honestly. If you were to buy the wood chips from the store, this covers a lot and it does a really good job in shredding all the wood chips in decent sizes. It's not too thick and not too thin that it'll become brittle. I'll show you a close up of some of the ones. You can see the color difference here. We've applied this wood chip, I believe it's been a couple weeks now. It's still doing really well and our plants have improved since we added the wood chips as well so it does help in effect if you want to see the difference in your plants growing faster, healthier and stronger. It helps with that and you may see the color difference just because it does rain a lot here. It rains frequently like throughout the day. They kind of moved just because we do have only one layer of wood chips right now on every single one of our plants just so that we can get them all covered up and then we're gonna gradually add on the layers but this was about, I wanna say not even one full tree so if you were to have one full tree and access to one you would be able to get a lot covered and done Negrito loves the intention <laughs> So Christian's right now working on some more wood chips, I mean wood chips, some more wood branches that we got from this friend that we've met this past week. And as you can see, it's a lot of hard work, but it's worth it, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's really hard, definitely hard, but it's more than worth it. Um, um, 
It's hard actually because the wood that we find here is the acacia wood and it's super, super durable. Yeah, the acacia wood is one of the hardest wood and it actually is hard because it kind of the fibers of the wood is like twisted it intertwines in together instead of just going straight yeah. down so the other one that we use it uh, is um almond and the almond tree that one cut perfect super easy you hit it and it breaks like right away three times with the hammer and it break from the top to the bottom perfect but this one extremely hard but it's perfect i mean we do what we have to do mm -hmm. and we are grateful for the the provision that god have for us so our australorps are now about i believe like three and a half months old are the australorps three and a half months old now okay so our australorps are now three months old and we finally obviously confirmed that we do have one rooster in our batch which is great because that means that we can then have fertile eggs and either keep producing chicks as every so many years they stop laying or we could also start breeding them and selling some australorps out to local farmers probably not local farmers because then that would be competition you know but yeah and as you can see our australorp our rooster is extremely healthy he's so beautiful he's developed a nice comb and he's getting his wattles that are growing in it's really neat um i've never had a chicken before or raised chickens nevertheless and it's so pretty to see the progress of how they grew up and just this new lifestyle that christian and i are getting into and learning so much about it's beautiful and it's such a wonderful experience because it's not all the time that you can experience this and yeah there's people who grow up on farms and on the countryside but they never actually get to enjoy what they're doing because they grew up in it and so this is a nice experience that we're just wanting to share with you all and help you learn something about what we're doing and what we've done to our farm and our livestock.